Senate's Republican Tennessee uh, Congressman Mark Green of the Homeland Security Committee. And Congressman, great to have you with us. You were just down at the El Paso border. What did you find? Well, thanks, Greg, for having me on the show. And uh, what I found were soldiers uh, and CBP personnel integrating uh, seamlessly. I thought it was fantastic. You know, I got a briefing from the uh, commander of the unit. It, it, the unit is actually from my district, the 101st Airborne Division, their third brigade. I, I met with their leadership, saw their command and control centers, and then went out and looked at where the soldiers were manning positions on the border. It is night and day from when I was there in June. And that's a big part of the president, you know, basically threatening Mexico, the Mexican leadership, with tariffs. And they responded by sending their troops to both our border and then their southern border. So in a sense, uh, creating a virtual wall on their southern border. It's been great. 75 percent decrease. Uh, I know the soldiers that are there are doing a fantastic job. Their leaders are doing a fantastic job. Again, the integration with CBP has been has been awesome. Um, so those uh, apprehensions are significantly down. Yeah. Do we need more judges and do we need to do something about the incentives that attract people to slip across our border illegally? I think there have been a lot of things done in that regard. Probably more needs to be done. But the migration uh, protection protocols that President Trump has negotiated with Mexico to keep the individuals you know, that are seeking asylum in Mexico has decreased that incentive. And I think that's why you're seeing the big 70 percent decrease. But clearly having Mexican uh, you know, military, their National Guard on the border, I was able to actually look across uh, the Rio Grande and see them sitting there doing their job. Um, we're in a much better place than we were six months ago, and that's reflective of the great work the president's done as well as CBP and the U.S. Army. Uh, just a few seconds left, but Border Patrol recently discovered 37 illegals hidden in tractor trailers, so there's still a big smuggling problem, right? Absolutely. There's still a problem. But when you put those added troops on the border, it allows the CBP guys to concentrate themselves in those high traffic areas areas. And it and they basically are going to catch folks like this. So, yeah. Congressman Mark Green, um, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate Thanks, your insights. That's going to do it for us. I'm Greg Jarrett in for Liz. Thanks for watching. Lou Dobbs is next right here.